Thank you, Dean Avis, for that wonderful introduction. Welcome, students, faculty, staff, and all members of our college community that made it out here today. And a very warm welcome to the class of 2023 and transfer students as you start your first day here at Pomona College. Welcome. The last time we checked in, you had just ran through the gates, and since then you've gone on to OA, you've signed up for classes, and maybe you found the laundry room, maybe. <laughs> that same day, I urged you all to take your time with making Pomona a home. I didn't realize it at the time, but I'm still in the process of finding my home here at Pomona. And I realize now that this idea of home isn't constant, it's ever-evolving, ever-changing. And I have to say that this is kind of a surreal experience for me, because I thought I had a pretty established life here at Pomona. Been here for three years, I know where all the buildings are, I know how to skip the lines at Frary, and I've made some very amazing, awesome, better than I could ever ask for friends here while at Pomona. But watching how all of you have band together and handled being put in new, challenging, and uncomfortable situations, I'm reminded that Pomona is a place of constant learning, and you won't leave here with all the answers. Your values and interests will evolve while at Pomona. So please welcome the uncomfortable moments, because that's when you're gonna learn the most. Now is your time, your moment, and we celebrate you. It's the beginning of new adventures, new experiences, and finding your own Pomona experience. Here you will face unprecedented academic challenges, and you will have so much support along the way. Without that support, I wouldn't be able to stand here and give this speech to you as student body president. I found my first home here at Pomona in my ID1. It was called Los Angeles and the, and the built environment and was taught by professor of art history, George Gorse. I didn't know it at the time, but that class gave me the tools to identify and traverse my lived experiences. The class itself was about the urban structures and environmental histories of Los Angeles. I thought I was there to learn about urban planning, but I don't know if that's what Professor Gorse had in mind. <laughs> Our first assignment was to discuss convocation. We talked about the pomp and circumstance of this event, of tradition for tradition's sake, and the ritualistic act of convoking a meeting of the community. My mind was blown. I went into that conversation with the idea that convocation was pretty. <laughs> I thought the speakers were nice, I thought Little Bridges was beautiful, and I was ready to talk about architecture and not ritual. The discussion was uncomfortable for me. We talked about how ritual transformation occurs in the liminal space between what was and what will be, and I had no idea what it meant. <laughs> I felt out of my depth, but I quickly realized that what I had to say in that room was just as valuable as what anyone else had to say. The last time we spoke, we spoke. I asked you to listen and learn from each other. Well, I can almost guarantee that each and every one of you will have moments here at Pomona where you feel like you couldn't possibly contribute to the unfamiliar and new conversations. But I'm here to tell you that you can, and your voice matters, and should be heard and will be heard. That day in ID1, I talked about the rituals of church and my family. I, I talked about how in my home, La Virgen and El Malojo informed my understanding of ritual. I didn't always understand what was happening in class, but I always knew how it made me feel. And that feeling gave me just as much insight to the conversation as citing a research article could have. And all of this just from one conversation about convocation on the first day of class. I challenged myself to be vulnerable and to speak, because oftentimes speaking up can be the hardest part. I was met with support and genuine interest from my peers, from Professor Gores, 
And I soon found out that that support was from my entire first year class and the Pomona College community. And that was an incredible feeling. It was uncomfortable, but through that experience, I found my first home here at Pomona. And listen, some of you won't find home in your ID1s, and that's okay, because ID1 was the first of many homes for me. And my Pomona College experience will not be yours, and it shouldn't be. We're different people. We won't always agree, and that's okay, but we're still all a part of this Pomona College community. We can disagree, and I will still stand here committed to your success as students and as individuals at this college. This year, I want to take on some big projects to help us all thrive together during our one year together and during your four years of college. But I can't do it alone. ASPC is only as strong as is our support from the student body. I don't want to welcome you on your first day by standing here and listing some of my goals for the year because you're going to hear all about it. But rather, I want to emphasize that anything we accomplish this year will be done as a community. ASPC is not solely about what we can do for you, but what we can accomplish together. So throughout the year, I'm going to ask you to think critically about what we can do to build this community and make it a home for the class of 2024. Because oftentimes, it's the person that has spent the least time in a community that can come up with the most novel ideas to improve it. And keep in mind that community is not easy. It takes time and patience and compassion. My predecessor, Alejandro Guerrero, put it beautifully. He said, without exposure to new perspectives and the means to have our ideas challenged, we fail to inspire intellectual curiosity and the ability to foster critical thinking and effective communication. We lose the very skills and tools that enable us to be an agent of change in society. We must recognize that the work to engage with others can be an individual act of courage, generosity, and humility. Wow. <laughs> Alejandro led ASPC by always choosing compassion over process and committing to the success of this entire community. I can only be so lucky as to follow in his footsteps. This year will be a journey of discovering and rediscovering home at Pomona College, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for all of us. Thank you so much and have a great first year.